What we do here is go back, 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 back. To the truth. Breakthrough Media. To the truth. Break, 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 breakthrough media. To the truth. I'm Kevin Phillips with Campus Reform. Today we're at John Jay College getting reactions to President Trump's State of the Union address last night. We're gonna give them a few quotes from the speech and ask their reaction. Except the quotes we're giving them are actually from President Obama's State of the Union addresses. What will they have to say? Let's find out. So I have a few quotes here from the State of the Union. I wanna get your feedback first. Uh, talking about ISIS saying, quote, we need to call them what they are, killers and fanatics who have to be hunted down and destroyed. What's your thought on that? Well, first off, ISIS is fake. It's something the government made up so they can continue doing what they want to do, which is world domination. Donald Trump should, like, you know, mind his own business and, like, just focus on America because he's the president of the United States, not of the whole world. I feel like that's a very strong statement. Um, and when you say something like that, it kind of makes you, like, a target. Or if you're a threat to this country, we're going to get you for that. It's, it's just ridiculous. Next up. Uh, talking about the general uh, world stage saying, quote, when you come after Americans, we come after you. It may take time, but we have long memories and our reach has no limit. What's your thought on that? Um, well, I, I don't think that's a good way of handling something. It's like he doesn't think before speaking and how, how it's going to offend a lot of people. He should be careful because there's other countries out in the world that has like, you know, like automatic weapons and, you know, nuclear bombs. I mean, he's got small hands, so I don't know about his reach, so. And, and finally talking about China, saying China wants to write the rules. That would put us at a disadvantage. Why should we let that happen? We should write those rules. I wouldn't mess with China. But He's over the top in general, so it's par for the course. It's like everything is out the window. Like, oh, whatever he's, oh, oh, China, China, China. I guess the way that he approaches things is very aggressive, and that's not the best way to approach situations. What if I told you that all three of these quotes were actually from President Obama's State of the Unions? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Full of shit, aren't you? <laughs> What's your thought? Are you surprised? Um, kind of, yeah. It's actually crazy to hear that. I think there's a bias against President Trump when it comes to hearing a speech like the State of the Union. Um, yeah, I, I do think there's a bias. I guess, uh, bias is really bad in general just because, uh, you don't agree with it doesn't mean it's not right. I am definitely not a huge fan of him. However, I think, um, you know, being closed-minded is probably more dangerous than anything he could do. Some people are quick to, like, judge you on Donald Trump just because, um, like, a few things he say. But I think, like, if they paid into his whole presidency, like, maybe they'll, like, have a, like, a better, um, like, you know, outlook on him and a better, like, you know, perspective in general. Because, unfortunately, a lot of times what you hear is tainted by bias and you really can't go off that. So do your own research, educate yourself. It's your duty. It's, you know, it's the future of the country. Breakthrough Media.